is it seen yes yes sir you are audible and visible <clears throat> so displaced mid clavicular fracture nailing is the best option non operative treatment most of the sharp fractures clavicle will heal by conservative treatment conclusion of meki and study displaced mid clavicular fracture can cause significant persistent disability even if they heal uneventfully mal union and non union 15 to 20% and there is a considerable shoulder dysfunction so fracture clavicle mid at the is still a virgin area in the orthopedics for surgical treatment what literature says on displaced mid clavicular fracture indications are displaced greater than 2 cm displacement greater than 2 cm overlapping comminuted fracture and skin compromise and if there are neurovascular structures are involved and in a compound fracture fixation is indicated majority of the cases can be treated by the conservative treatment but there is a place for operative treatment fracture clavicle middle third plate or nail there is always a dilemma amongst the many workers and surgeons also whether to do a plating or nailing plate is a open method it is invasive surgery x ray looks very good there are so many complication but there are new anatomical plates they restore the anatomy and the option is very attractive nailing is a minimal invasive treatment a mid step clavicular fracture using titanium elastic nails now they are available freely and people are now started doing all by titanium elastic nails but there is a major disadvantage of this nail is because they are not locking nail therefore if there is a fracture settlement you find that there is a migration of the nails and you will find that the nail has protruded out of the skin that is the major disadvantage so in a comminuted third fracture all fractures cannot be we cannot apply the rule that everything every fracture should be treated by conservative or operative we have to think whether to operate on this patient the occupation policeman he wants to go on duty for a very early whether to operate or conserve patient history to understand his or her activity level functional demands and expectation that is the most important thing and one must suggest to the patient whether you need a surgery or you need a conservative treatment with we have to wear a cuff and collar or a clavicle brace for a longer time but it gives the same results so in a comminuted third fracture 34 hour policeman earlier return to work i did a close intramedullary nailing was operation was done this also can be treated by a plating anatomical so depends on the occupation of the patient we need to do a surgery and the patient's decision is also a more important rather than the surgeon's possible indication so comminuted middle third fracture perfect healing and restoration of the function so intramedullary fixation there are so many devices are used nowadays large threaded cannulated screws rakut pins flexible elastic nails interlock nails are also now available and i use a screw intramedullary nail which is already this paper is published in march 2018 in indian journal of orthopedic now i have must have done more than 100 cases this is the report that time of a 30 cases with very very gratifying result and that i am going to describe now on video so this is the displaced mid shaft clavicular fracture this is the position 
there should be a bump under the skin uh, scapula under skeleton block you can do this surgery no need of giving the general anesthesia before you plan a surgery you must assess the displacement as well as the medullary canal that is the most whether it is osteoporotic bone or it is a where there is a canal or not if the canal is very small then are narrow it is very difficult to pass a nail and less than 2 mm nail will not serve purpose such a patient should be operated for or given a chance for pleating now this is the surface marking of the fracture clavicle you can see here i use a medial incision this is the screw nail which i use there are various sizes mostly in the clavicle it is 2.5 is required in a some osteoporotic vein when there is a canal is wide you can use a 3 mm and you will have to bend the tip of the nail so that it smoothly goes inside the medullary canal i preferably ream the canal with the flexible reamers there are 2.5 2 mm reamers are available you can use a forearm reamers also this is a curved all straight all so that and it should not be of a very uh, long because otherwise you may injure the uh, unsaid pleura most important you can use a towel clips also for reduction purpose so these are the instruments are required for the clavicular nailing and this is the marking you can see here on the soft bone of the medial end of the clavicle and you can see that is the only portion which is a uh, it is soft bone that is a cancellous bone where you can introduce a nail and all they give a small incision near about 1 cm with a pointed knife and then go reach to the bone and with a curved owl first with the straight owl and then with the curved owl you have to go to the clavicle it is very easy to pass but you have to be have a firm hold over the owl otherwise it may go inside and you may puncture the pleura that will be most dangerous thing to do it so after doing this with the canal finder with this and then this is the and you have to do assess the canal and reaming that is most important because the clavicle is a curved bone it is very difficult to pass a straight nail so you will have to ream it and then with the help of that lever arm of the reamer and holding with the towel clip the distal fragment you bring the fracture fragment together and then just negotiate the reamer and you will find uh, you will feel that whether the uh, this uh, reamer is inside or not because that is also we have to ream it a distal part distal part also otherwise you may land into the trouble and you may perforate the clavicle now by to and pro movement slowly pass the screw nail and across the fracture site we have to be very careful you will get a feel that it has gone inside and we have to see both the views in 30 degree caudal as well as cephalad and a ap view and then after pushing inside with this you can give small blows and then again you can do a screwing of the nail and you can see it is going inside you cannot and it will plug into that a solid flat portion of the distal clavicle and the sitting of the screw inside the metaphysis of the medial end in the cancellous bone so that there will be no protrusion of that screw and two three threads are to be kept outside so that while removing it you can identify this is a very small incision it's a close technique if you are not able to find or able to reduce it don't hesitate to give a small incision try two three times if the reduction comes give a small incision of near about 2 cm find the ends clamp with the uh, forearm clamp and then you can pass the nail and the complete the procedure as you have done previously we have to see the exact length of the nail otherwise you may get a perforation 
it's a very simple incision you can see two stitch surgery even after doing a open surgery and it is in the flat the nail end should be buried in the flat bone so that there will not be any protrusion of the on the distal end so this is how the post op x ray you can see in the ap and the cephalid view it is perfectly nice lipiding just forget about that anatomical reduction is not necessary because healing of the clavicle is not an issue at all so these are the the clavicle is the is this is this okay so this is how we have to do the surgery now this is a minimal invasive surgery you can see i will give two three examples this is a comminuted butterfly fragment is there done by a close method perfect anatomical reduction and you can see here a, a stitchless surgery but that does not happen always you have to give some time a open reduction 30% of the cases it requires and it requires a very good precision while passing the nail into the opposite distal end and we have also to see the neurovascular bundle anatomy is the most important to observe this is how it is if you have a a yeah, difficulty in this is the displaced fracture i did a three point marker everything but i failed to do a close reduction i gone up to this level difficult to for this for me because i have started with the close method then i did a a small incision open reduction and then the negotiation of the nail so it is not always a close procedure you may sometime have to give a small incision to identify the fragments because there is may be some soft tissue intervention and probably will not be able to get reduction most it occurs in the spiral fractures and in a transverse fracture it is sometime difficult so this is the x ray displacement clavicular fracture and you can see a perfect anatomical restoration though people say that it doesn't work in a community yes it works because there is only three point fixation one fixation in the cancellous bone other in the flat bone of the distal end clavicle and it's a curved bone therefore it gives a three point fixation and it can work in the comminuted fracture and at all there is some settling and shortening that does not go more than 5 mm which does not jeopardize the function another example a segmental fracture screw intramedullary nail was done there was a in this this uh, bone fragment was popping out here and he came late and you can see here the nail has fixed both the fractures and patient has gone into the and you can see a perfect anatomical restoration and patient had a full function clavicle mal union also you can do uh, this is how it is it's not acceptable cosmetically it is not uh, a good thing it's okay in the old age but in a young age if you get a bump like this it's not good because you cannot carry this bump throughout the life and it will be a problem of the skin so in it is all treated with the strengthening especially of scapulothoracic stabilizer because there is always a dysfunction of the shoulder after the malunion therefore you must have some physiotherapy session and if there is no relief and patient wants a correction better to go ahead with the nailing or plating so relative indication it's not an absolute indication open reduction and fixation by screw intramedullary nailing three months follow up the perfect anatomy and patient restore the function and you can see this is the after two years of follow up very very good callus formation and patient had a one year follow up full function with complete anatomical restoration and secondary callus forms such a grossly displaced clavicle fracture with the punctured wound you just cannot apply a brace also and with the protruding this is the punctured wound it is very difficult for the patient to uh, get a conservative treatment debridement of the wound reduction in screw intramural nail wound healed fracture also healed very well and you can say minimal invasive treatment he is working in a bank went to office within 3 weeks without any problem and you can see here 
there is a restoration of even the clavicle curve it is mostly said that the there is a loss of some curvature of the clavicle yes some loss of curvature may occur but it does not hamper the functional outcome another example a displaced comminuted fracture i did the close intramedullary nailing kept the all the fragments comminuted like that only and you can see healing by callus formation and complete remodeling of the clavicle in one year follow so i can share innumerable x rays but there is another problem where there is a osteoporotic bone and patient is a very old man you can see protruding clavicle in a such a situation if you pass a single nail up a 3 mm also it does not hold good in that case you may use a stack nailing in the clavicle bone also so that you must have a some a stability stability must be achieved so that the patient can work with that particular hand so plate is a better in a comminuted and non united fracture and nail in a transverse and less comminuted fracture this is the literature says but i assure you if you do it properly you, you can also get a good result in a comminuted fractures plate or nail is not immune to complication that is also most important and take home message indication of open reduction and internal fixation of displaced mid clavicle fracture has been now defined consistent achievement of union and low frequency of complications with operative treatment conservative care results in around 15% of non union and symptomatic mal union in 33% which was not studied in a previous study no difference between nails and plates in terms of healing and functional outcome therefore it is your choice whether to do a nailing or plating and always a we have to choose between the two minimal invasive surgery with mostly a scarless surgery or a open surgery with a very large scar and injury to the supraclavicular nerves which are a very troublesome job if the neuroma formation is there so therefore it depends on the surgeon's choice as well as the patient choice and majority of this patient they can be treated with the conservative treatment but i opt for the clavicle nailing in a most displaced fractures and overriding up more than 2 cm for nailing thank you very much mm-hmm.